The Google Earth Balloon Maker is a tool that I put together to help teachers uh, generate the HTML for the balloons inside of Google Earth virtual field trips. And basically, you have a WYSIWYG that allows you to easily generate HTML code. So if I wanted to do something like add a picture to a Google Earth balloon, I would first go online, find a picture that I want. I'm going to commons.wikimedia.org. If I right-click on the image and click Copy Image Location, when I'm back in the WYSIWYG, I can click the Image button, and I can paste in the location of that image. You can see right here at ensign.jpg, it's telling us a direct link to that image. I'm going to ignore the image description for right now, and I'm going to put this at the top of the page. Now, I know that I want to keep my bubbles uh, about 500 pixels uh, wide, or else it just gets too big for the Google Earth uh, viewing space. When I'm done, I can click Insert. If I want, I could also further refine the size of the image right here just by clicking and dragging the image, as you can see right here. Uh, the WYSIWYG also lets you add different types of text. So if I wanted to add a heading or perhaps a uh, title, I could do that right there. I could also add things like horizontal rules. For this, I'm going to select percentage and say 100% so it goes all the way across. I could click right here and I can add more text. So maybe I want to have my students write a summary about a location in a story. They can do that easily with this WYSIWYG text editor. Uh, one final thing that I want to show is that you can easily add YouTube videos. First, you're going to want to go to YouTube, find the video that you want to add, copy the URL, go back to the WYSIWYG, the Google Earth Balloon Maker, click the YouTube button, and then paste in the address and click Insert. If you want to see what it's going to look like, you can click the preview button. It's going to open up a new tab. It's going to demonstrate basically what your bubble is going to look like. When you're all done, you can go back to the Balloon Maker, click the HTML button, and you're going to get the source code for your balloon. You copy it, go to Google Earth, and then in your place marker, right-click Properties and paste that code in the bubble. So now when you click on the blue link here, the name of your place marker, you will get that rich media experience to make your Google Earth field trips, virtual field trips, all that much better. Thank you.